Howdy y'all, Mr. Kazi coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas. And today we're going to talk about elimination in two variables. Very important algebra skill that you need to learn. You'll need to know linear equations. You'll need to know how to solve equations. And you need to know what a system of equations is. And if you don't already know what these are, uh, you need to go and find some video lessons and make sure that you know what these are uh, before you continue. You will learn how to solve a system of equations by elimination. Now there's also being able to do this with substitution, but this is going to cover elimination only. And it's going to be dealing with two unknowns. And remember, if you have two unknowns, you need to have two equations. All right, let's get started. Demonstration number one. Solve this system using elimination. A plus B equals negative four, and two A minus B equals negative five. And what I want to point out here right now is that the solution to these two equations is where these two equations come together. It's where they cross. If you were to graph them, it would be the point at which these two lines cross. And of course, these are uh, linear equations. Well, first thing we want to do is to remember that elimination means that something has to cancel out. Something's got to go. So let's choose a variable and eliminate it. Let's eliminate B. Now, why did I choose B? When I look over at uh, the two variables, A and B, B is already a positive and negative, and they have the same coefficient. A positive 1B and a negative 1B equals 0. They automatically uh, cancel out. So let's eliminate them. And we do that just by uh, adding them together or combining the two equations. And then a plus 2a is 3a. And negative 4 and negative 5 is negative 9. Now divide both sides by 3. And we get a equals negative 3. Now that we know what a is, we can substitute that into one of the other equations and uh, we can solve for b. So negative 3 plus uh, b, I'm going to use the first equation by the way, and negative 3 uh, plus b equals negative 4. We've substituted negative 3 for a, added 3 to both sides. The 3's cancel out and b equals negative 1. And so our solution set is uh, negative 3, negative 1. All right, now that was a pretty easy one. Let's do one a little bit more complicated. And again, we're going to solve these two linear equations. And we're going to use elimination. Now, as I examine these, I note that the uh, LCM, or lowest common multiple, for both x and y is 6. So let's go ahead and do the x. Now, the reason I say let's eliminate x is because they're already positive negative. I don't have to do any sign changes. You could have done the y if you wanted to. I just chose the x. In doing so, I'm going to multiply everything in the top one by 2. And that gives me 6x plus 4y equals 46. And then I'm going to multiply everything on the bottom by 3. And that gives me negative 6x plus 9y equals 6. Let's go ahead and cancel out the 6s. And then 4 plus 9 is 13. And 46 and 6 is 52. Divide both sides by 13. And we get y equals 4. So now we know what y is. Let's go over and put 4 into one of the other equations. And I'm going to choose the second equation. And it just seems simpler to me. And I'm going to substitute the 4 for y. Now let's go ahead and do the multiplication there, and we get negative 2x plus 12 equals 2. Minus 12 from both sides, and then rewrite our uh, new equation, negative 2x equals negative 10. Divide both sides by negative 2, and we get x equals 5. It's just that simple. All right, let's try another one. Demo number three, and again, two linear equations. And this time, uh, we've got a different situation here. We've got a 
uh, lowest common multiple of 15 for the 3 and the 5. And we have uh, lowest common multiple of 4 for x. And I think, to me, that's the easiest path. So what we're going to do is we're going to eliminate x again. And this time I'm going to um, not have to multiply the top by anything. So I'll just rewrite it. And I need to multiply everything on the bottom by 2. And gives me a new equation. But in order to get the f x's to cancel out, I need to change the signs. So I'm just going to change the signs and add. Now, you're thinking, why didn't I just multiply by negative 2? You could have. I find it just as easy to go ahead and multiply and then just change the signs and add. Always an easy way to do uh, subtraction in algebra. Just change the signs and add. So I'll change all the signs. Now let's just combine them together. X's cancel out. We get negative 13y equals negative 39. Divide by negative 13. And that gives me y equals 3. Now that I know that y equals 3, I'm going to go over and choose uh, the top equation and substitute 3 for y. And so then I get 4x minus 3 times 3 equals negative 1. Do the multiplication and then add 9 to both sides. That gives me 4x equals 8. Divide both sides by 4. And x equals 2. Excellent. So our solution set is x equals 2 and y equals 3. In our recap here, you used elimination to find the solution for a linear system of equations in two variables. And we did three different types to show you the different things that can happen when uh, combining systems. Now, one thing you need to remember when doing this is that's very important to have your algebra skills intact. You've got to know the basics of algebra to make it work. All right, if you have any questions concerning this lesson, send an email to mrkazi at mrkazi.com. 